Hello guys, welcome back to the Java tutorials. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to learn about how to time, uh, how to do a task on uh, on, a sp on a specific period. You know, like uh, some sort of if you want uh, something to happen every five seconds, then how to do that. So for that, what we are going to do is we're going to I'm just going to create a new project, a uh, new packet, sorry, called a timer or something like that, and. Uh, uh, I'm just going to create uh, a new class. Uh, well, I'm just going to create a new form first. Yeah. Now, come on. Okay. Come on. Yep. Yeah. I'm just going to uh, drag a. Show small icons. Yeah. Uh, where's my. Yelp, uh, no, yelp, text area, and I'm just gonna have a button, and I want a text to appear here every five seconds. Now, uh, the best way to do that is to use timers, and timers require objects called timer tasks. Now, timer task is an abstract class, and you need to extend that thing to make your own class and then use that class in the timer object now to do that what we're going to do is I'm just going to create a new uh, class here tt no not tt that's, that's a bit lame it's gonna come on type task because it's going to print something now Extends timer task and it's going to ask me to import this. It's going to ask me to implement. Yeah. Now we created an external class, so naturally we can't access the new JFrame class from here. So I'm just going to say public type task frame. Yeah. And uh, yep, okay. In the run method, what you're going to do is going to say it's going to create a new method here quickly. Uh, okay, top public void type something. Yeah, so string. Uh, no, okay, something. So anything. Just can you? Just can be anything. It's in type so. so J text area one dot append. Uh, hello. Yep. And then it's going to create a new line, or it's going to get it. It's one line. It's just not good. Okay. So public void type. It does just one thing. It adds hello and a new line every time it is accessed, and that's going to appear here. Inside this, what I'm going to do is inside the run method, I'm just going to say parent, which is the new JFrame. And as we just created a new method inside the parent, I'm just going to say type. There. See? Type. There we go. And now, every time this 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 type task is run, uh, it would do parent.type. To use this type task, I'll have to... Uh, make a timer timer t equals new timer it's going to ask me to import press alt enter util.timer yep then type task tt equals new type task this yep and we just created a new type task here I'm just going to say t dot schedule that um, and we are going to use that one because we want the task we want the delay so not sure how many seconds you want this task to begin and the period which is in milliseconds so that is the frequency so I'm just going to have to look at that no 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 what are you doing okay tt uh, Delay zero because we want this task to start instantly, and period uh, every 
two seconds, so 2,000 milliseconds. And that's it, the task is now, uh, s task has now started. And, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna press Shift F6 to run this program. And if I click this, it's gonna say hello, 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 hello. So, now you guys got it, how this timer task works, which is, uh, really useful while doing animation and stuff like that because you want some specific thing to expand every 10 milliseconds and uh, so that's the best way. Another way to create the tasks is to have a private class inside the JFrame itself if you're if you're making the timer task specifically for just one JFrame if you're not going to reuse, reuse it then it is a uh, is uh, better to have it as a private class within the JFrame class, which is done like this. So I'm just gonna say uh, private class type task two extends timer task and oh, oh okay, for this one. okay, implement abstract methods. So method, the run method. Uh, yep. Yeah. And here I don't need to pass the parent. I can just say uh, j text area on the append uh, type uh, task two has been called. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put it in line. Now you might be wondering why am I able to access this these things even though they are private here. That's because this class is a subclass of the new JFrame class, and uh, subclasses can uh, use everything uh, in the new JFrame in the parent class, from the parent class to be exact. And uh, well, yeah, that's how it works. And uh, uh, once you call this type task two in the here's I'm just gonna I'm just gonna comment this out. That's Control Shift C. I need to pass the parent here, TD2, and uh, yeah, so let's see. It has been called, it has been called again, it has been called again. So I would suggest that to create animations, it is better to have it as a subclass. However, if you are in it, if you are intending to use it again and again, which you are most likely to do because it's a object orientation, and if you don't use the class again then that hampers the aim of object orientation one of the aims of object orientation and uh, that's why I would uh, rather make it a separate class however if you are sure that you that you, that you are not going to do this again and you're just going to have it once like if you if you have a JFrame which updates itself automatically f every five seconds or something like that then it is the best way then is the best to have it as a separate uh, um, no, then it's best to have the type task to be as a private class inside. So yeah, um, I hope you guys like this tutorial, and I will be making a post about this on the Code Ninjutsu blog. So I'll see you guys then. Till then, bye bye, see ya, and have a great one.